Moving on to the fifth question. Prove the following identities where angles involved are acute angles for which the expressions are defined. Now moving on to the solution for first bit. He has given an equation and asked us to prove that. Now let us initially consider the left hand side. That is cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square. So let us equal it to cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta minus cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta. And here whole square remains same. That is equal to in the bracket. Let us take sin theta as LCM as it is common denominator. Then the numerator becomes 1 minus cos theta and its whole square which is equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by sin square theta. So from the identity we have that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Let us substitute it here. Then it becomes 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 minus cos square theta. Here 1 minus cos square theta can be written as 1 square minus cos square theta which is in the form of a square minus b square and can be written as a plus b into a minus b. Therefore that will be equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta on splitting the 1 minus cos square theta. Here if we observe numerator and denominator we have common factor 1 minus cos theta which cancels 1 minus cos theta square 1 minus cos theta times. So finally we got 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta which is our right hand side. So here we got LHS equal to RHS So finally we can say that cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Now moving on to the second bit of fifth problem. He has asked us to prove that cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a by cos a is equal to 2 times secant a. So let us consider the left hand side of given equation that will be cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a by cos a and now let us simplify this which is equal to let us take LCM as 1 plus sin a into cos a then the numerator becomes cos a into cos a is nothing but cos square a plus 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a is nothing but 1 plus sin a whole square. That will be equal to cos square a plus this is in the form of a plus b whole square which is nothing but a square that is 1 square is 1 plus 2 ab that is 2 times 1 times sin a which is nothing but 2 sin a plus sin a whole square that is sin square a whole divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a that will be equal to let us write together the terms sin square a and cos square a plus 1 plus 2 sin a whole divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a 
Now we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Let us substitute that. Then it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 2 sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to 2 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to let us take 2 common in the numerator then we get 1 plus sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a in the numerator and denominator 1 plus sin a is common and that gets cancelled finally we are left with 2 times 1 by cos a which is equal to 2 times we know that 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a here finally we got 2 times secant a as answer then which is nothing but our right hand side so here LHS is equal to RHS and hence we proved the given relation between the trigonometric ratios. Moving on to the fourth bit of the fifth question. Here he has given an equality of two expressions that is 1 plus secant a by secant a is equal to sin square a by 1 minus cos a. So let us move on to the solution. As he asked us to prove the equality, let us consider the left hand side. And simplify it. Then right hand side and then simplify it. If they are equal, then the equality is right. So in the left hand side, the given expression is 1 by secant a whole divided by secant a that will be equal to 1 plus secant a can be written as 1 by cos a whole divided by secant a here also can be written as 1 by cos a which is equal to let us take cos a as LCM in the numerator then we get cos a plus 1 in the numerator divided by cos a whole divided by 1 by cos a here in the denominator of the numerator we have cos a as common so these two will be cancelled and finally we are just left out with cos a plus 1 which can be written as 1 plus cos a so here the simplified form of left hand side is 1 plus cos a similarly let us also simplify right hand side that is sin square a whole divided by 1 minus cos a which is equal to here we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos square a so by replacing sin square a as 1 minus cos square a divided by 1 minus cos a that is equal to here this can be written as 1 square minus cos square a which is in the form of a square minus b square that can be written as a minus b that is 1 minus cos a into a plus b that is 1 plus cos a whole divided by 1 minus cos a here in the numerator and denominator we have 1 minus cos a as common and that will be cancelled and finally we are left out with 1 plus cos a so the simplified form of LHS is equal to the simplified form of RHS so the equality 1 plus secant a by secant a is equal to sin square a by 1 minus cos a is correct now moving on to the seventh bit of fifth problem he has asked us to prove that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 
2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta. In order to prove this, let us consider the left hand side that is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta that is equal to in the numerator let us take sin theta common then we get the numerator as sin theta into 1 minus 2 sin square theta divided by in the denominator let us take cos theta as common then we get the denominator as cos theta into 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is equal to if we write sin theta by cos theta separately then it is nothing but tan theta into 1 minus 2 into here we have an identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us substitute it here then we get 2 times 1 minus cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 and minus 2 times 2 square cos theta is plus 2 cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which will be equal to tan theta times here by rearranging the terms we get 2 cos square theta minus 1 by 2 cos square theta minus 1 here in the numerator and denominator we have 2 cos square theta minus 1 as common which will be cancelled and finally we are left out with tan theta which is our right hand side so here as LHS is equal to RHS we can say that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta whole divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta now moving on to the fifth bit of fifth version he has given to prove the equality of cos a minus sin a plus 1 by cos a plus sin a minus 1 is equal to cosecant a plus cot a using the identity cosecant a is equal to 1 plus cot a now moving on to the solution let us consider the left hand side that is cos a minus sin a plus 1 divided by cos a plus sin a minus 1 as here he asked us to prove the equality using identity cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a let us convert the given expression in terms of cosecant and cot a in order to do that divide both numerator and denominator by sin a then we get the expression as cos a by sin a minus sin a by sin a plus 1 by sin a whole divided by cos a by sin a plus sin a by sin a minus 1 by sin a which is equal to cos a by sin a is nothing but cot a minus sin a by sin a is 1 plus 1 by sin a is nothing but cosecant a whole divided by cos a by sin a is again cot a plus sin a by sin a is nothing but 1 minus 1 by sin a is nothing but cosecant a so the expression will be equal to cot a plus cosecant a minus 1 by cot a 
minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to as he asked us to use the identity that cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta or cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a let us replace 1 by cosecant square a minus cot square a that is equal to cot a plus cosecant a minus 1 we shall replace by cosecant square a minus cot square a whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to cot a plus cosecant a let it be in one bracket minus this is in the form of a square minus b square that can be written as a plus b into a minus b whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to let us take here common as cot a plus cosecant a whole of 1 minus here we will be left out with cosecant a minus cot a whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 that will be equal to cot a plus cosecant a remains as it is and this expression can be written as 1 minus cosecant a and minus into minus is plus here and by rearranging term we can write it as cot a plus that is cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 here cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 is common in both numerator and denominator that will be cancelled. So finally we are left out with cot a plus cosecant a which is nothing but our right hand side. As LHS is equal to RHS we proved the equality.